this video I'm going to show you how to cut a key by code using the Condor key machine or the Mini Condor key machine. Both of them are exact, is exactly the same process. And I'm going to show you a few examples, okay, based on the key type, a few different examples. Okay, so the example that I have here, the first example, is a 2003 Toyota Camry. And I have here the door cylinder because the code in Toyota is located on the door cylinder. So I'm going to take it out. Okay, and we can see that we have the door cylinder. Now we can see that the, the code on the door. In this case is 55214. 55214 is the key code in this specific cylinder. Of course, every car it will be different. Okay, and it's for 2003 Toyota Camry. So what we're going to do in the main screen, go to key database. <coughs> Right here, we're gonna to choose Toyota. Right here, you can see the makes. In this example, we're gonna to choose Toyota. So I'm gonna go for T, O, there you have it, Toyota. I'm gonna to press confirm. Now we have to type in the key code. In this particular example is five, five, two, one, four. <clears throat> confirm that this is the right uh, key code and press confirm. Okay, now uh, again, it just give us few options. Normally the first one will be the correct because it's a 10 cut and the uh, machine already recognized that. So just press confirm. Okay, now it gives you <coughs> uh, some information. First of all, it gives you the cuts. How the cuts gonna be from cut number one to cut number 10. Second of all, it show you the shape of the key. This is how the key will be cut. And it let us know here in this illustration where we need to stop the key, okay? And also which clamp we're gonna use. We're gonna use the M1 clamp. As you can see, the M1 clamp is already on. And what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to take the key and we're gonna have to slide it in. Now, we're gonna take the stopper and we're gonna have to put the stopper like that, okay? Have a look. Right here, we have this a small extra uh, metal piece and we are gonna have to slide it in just like that and one moment and slide it all the way until this small square make sure it stop here okay now that we did that we're gonna have to put the key to slide the key all the way and when it reached the stopper it stopped the key and then we are gonna have to close the clamp Okay, now what we need to do, we need to take the Allen key and make sure to close this uh, Allen screw so the key will not gonna move, okay? Don't kill the screw, just close it enough. Enough, what, now we can remove the stopper and the Allen key and now make sure that the key will not gonna move, okay? Obviously right now you're gonna have to close the the cover but for the sake of this video I'm gonna leave it open and what you need to do is just press cut okay now the machine will cut the key we're gonna have to wait until the machine will be done do you want to know how to program car keys and remotes for all type of vehicles and easily well if you do then I have the perfect solution for you hi my name is Moshe and I'm an owner of a locksmith company for over 10 years I'm an expert when it comes to program car keys and I created a website full of videos and tutorials that will show you step by step how to program all type of car keys and remotes from transponder keys to remote head keys to smart keys for vehicles that have a push to start system by using this website you will be able to program car keys and remotes easily and you will be able to be successful on your first try all you will have to do is follow a few simple steps go to the search bar and type the make key and model of the car that you would like to program the key for and press enter then choose the correct video from the suggested videos make Make sure that the vehicle make here and model appear in the description list below the video and follow the video step by step it's that easy and if you would like to order the key that is being explained in the video that's not a problem just press on the link at the bottom of the description and you can order the exact same key that is being explained in the video it's that easy to find out more go to www.laxmithvideosonline.com
Okay, the machine finished the uh, cutting process. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna clean it, remove all the small metal pieces that we have here on, on the machine. Always clean it the best you can. The machine is very sensitive. Okay, and now when you did it, just remove the key. And basically, if the code was correct, the key should work on the cylinder. Okay. So, we do have the key and we have the door cylinder. Okay, and let's test it. Okay, and as you see, as you can see, work smooth, work as smooth as it can get. Okay? Okay, so basically, this is how you do it for Toyota. Okay, Toyota key, this for this example. Okay? So, now I'm gonna show you another type of key. Okay, the Toyota key have no shoulder. This is a key that have no shoulder, and I'm gonna show you what I mean. The Toyota key is a key that have no shoulders. And what do I mean by that? I mean that this key is straight here and is straight here. It have no shoulder on it. Now I'm gonna show you a key that have shoulders and you're gonna see the difference. So let's take a Honda key, a 9998 Honda Accord. And this not just work on 9098 Honda Accord, but on other vehicle as well. But this, for example, key have shoulders. Now have a look. We have a key that have no shoulder for the Toyota. And we have a key that have shoulder, for example, for this Honda. Now have a look here, right here. And right here we have, it's look like a shoulder. The right shoulder and the left shoulder. Okay, so that's the difference between a key without shoulder, for example, the Toyota, and a key with shoulder for the Honda. Now the shoulder have to be 90 degrees. If you have a shoulder that is not 90 degrees, it's not a shoulder. The shoulder have to be 90 degrees, horizontal. Now, this is just an example of the Honda and the Toyota. Of course, other keys for other makes may have a shoulder or may not have a shoulder, but that's the difference between them, between them and that's how you can recognize the difference. Okay, so now, after we cut the Toyota key, now I wanna show you how to cut the key with a shoulder. In this example, we're gonna do 1998 Honda Accord. This is the trunk cylinder of the Honda Accord. Okay, there we have it. We have the trunk cylinder and the code in this particular Honda is on the trunk cylinder. Let's have a look. And we have two codes here. We got one, what is it? Let me see, 1298 or 1288. 1298 and we got 5076. So how do you know which one is the right code? I'm gonna show you in a moment. Okay, so basically we have the trunk cylinder for 1998 Honda Accord. This is a key with a shoulder, so let's see how we do it. First of all, after we're done with the previous key, we're gonna go back to the main menu. Now, of course, we're gonna choose the key that we wanna cut, the, the vehicle. So we're gonna go again to key database. And we're gonna choose this time 1998 Honda Accord. So we're gonna choose Honda. H O N Honda. We're gonna press confirm. Now we need to input the code. And it lets you know more or less where is the code, where the code can be located. Now, what you can do if if it, there is no hint right here, there is no code series, you can try to cut one of the codes. And if it doesn't work, you can try to uh, cut the other code. One of them will work. In Honda, in the earlier model of Honda, the code should be between 4,000 and 8,000. Okay, in different video, we have how to find the key code and code series, how to find the correct key, and we cover that in a different video. So it has to be between 4,000 and 8,000. So it must be the second code. The second code is 5076, 5076. Okay, so let's put it in. The code is five, zero, seven, six. Okay, once you did it, you're gonna press confirm. And there you go. It tells us that the code series is between 5001 and 8442, 8442. I made a mistake. I thought it's between 4001 and 8000, but actually this code series for this, uh, for the Hondas 
are between 5001 and 8442. Again, is the second uh, code. Let's press confirm. Again, it gives us the cuts of the key right here, cut number one until cut number eight. And it gives us the shape of the key. It also tells us that we need the M1 clamp, which we have. And then it let us know where we need to stop the key. Now, have a look. The yellow arrow will tell us where to put the stopper. Now, as you can see, it shows us this, this key have a shoulder. We can see the shape of the key. And it tells us that we need to stop the key at the shoulder at this position. So let's see how we do it. We take the Honda key, we put it inside. Okay, of course, if you need to open it, open it. Open the clamp, make sure that it can go inside. Okay. Okay, now what you wanna do, you wanna take the stopper. Remember, the stopper have this small extra place. And what you wanna do, you wanna slide it right here inside this small little slot. Okay, little slot. You can do it from the right side or from the left side, doesn't matter. But make sure that this piece, okay, this extra piece goes inside this slot. Okay, so I'm gonna put it inside. I'm gonna do it now from the right side. Okay, and I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna slide it all the way until it touch this metal piece, until it can no longer go. And I'm gonna slide the key, and I'm gonna slide the, the stopper here, and slide the key until the shoulder touch the stopper. Okay, the shoulder touch the stopper like that. Okay, just like that. Just like that. Okay, again, put the key inside, slide it in, and push the key all the way until the stopper stop the key at the shoulder. Okay, now make sure not to move the key from that position. And now you can close the clamp. Close the clamp. After you close the clamp, what left to do is just close this Allen screw, the pressure screw, make sure that the key will not gonna tilt up and down. And you can remove it and make sure that the key is not moving. And right now, just press cut. Now let the machine work, of course. Normally you're gonna close the cover, but right now I'm gonna leave it open for this video. Okay, the machine is done. Let's clean the clamp and the machine. Okay, once you're done, of course, open the pressure screw. Okay, and open the clamp. Now, if the machine cut it correctly, now the key, if the code was correct, the key should turn the cylinder. So let's check. 
there you go it's a twang cylinder this is why it turned only to one place okay as you can see very smooth okay basically this is how you cut the key with the shoulder for this example it was for 9098 honda accord okay and that was the trunk cylinder so let's put it back in place and now i'm going to show you how to cut a key that have a a, a high security type of a key okay so what do i mean by that i mean that basically in the previous keys we had a key that was cut from one side and from the other side like the honda this honda and like for example this toyota the first one is a double-sided key but what happened if you need to cut a key like this okay that the cuts need to be on the side or sometimes the cuts can be inside the key that's a completely different cut it's called the high security cut and for this we're going to have to use the m2 the m2 clamp not the m1 and i'm going to show you just for this example how to do it so what we're going to do we're going to go to the main menu okay and what we're going to do for this example i got 2004 honda cord and we're going to get the code from the floor cylinder cylinder this is on the floor or you can buy a key code depend where, where you get it so 2004 honda cord that the key that we want to cut and what we're going to do we're going to remove clamp m1 and we're going to clean of course the condo key machine and we're going to put clamp m2 on the machine slide it in and lock it in place make sure it's clean okay now what we're going to do we're going to look at the key code let's find the key code okay if you bought the key code you can use it if you bought it from a code company if you didn't you need to find it somewhere here and there it is here is the key code one second make sure you can see it good there it is okay okay basically the key code can be your 4f18 or l the letter l 769 now in honda is going to be this key code okay it will be l769 that's the key code okay so what we're going to do again we are doing 2004 honda code what we're going to do we're going to go to keep database in the main menu and we're going to choose honda again h o n honda press confirm now we're going to put the key code again let me remind you and remind myself as well the key code should in this one is l769 okay so let's do it we're going to press l the letter l 769 and we're going to press confirm okay it let us know uh, some option we're going to choose the master uh, key and press confirm and now again it tells us the uh, shape of the key how the key will be cut and also the cuts of the key from one side and from another side and it let us know hey use clamp num m2 okay there you go we have the m2 clamp it let us know hey make sure the a side is up as you can see we have the a side up make sure that the a side is up follow what the machine is, do is telling you of course every car will have a different some cars you're going to have to put the, a the b side up the c but in this particular example we're doing the a side up okay once you did that now it let you know where the arrow where to stop the stopper where to stop the key okay so it tell us to stop the key at the tip of the clamp so we're going to take the stopper and we're going to put it right here at, at the end okay right here then we're going to take the honda key we're going to slide it in until it stop at the clamp at the stopper and we're going to close it we're going to close it okay once we did it of course you're going to have to close the cover again for this video i'm going to leave it open and press cut let the machine work
Okay, once the machine is done, clean the surface, okay? And what we're gonna do, we're gonna open it. Okay, now we need to flip it to the other side, okay? Flip it to the other side, take the stopper, position it at the end, exactly like it says in the illustration here. Make sure you stop the key all the way up, close it, and press cut and let the machine work. Okay, once the machine cut the second uh, side, just clean around the machine and we can open the clamp and after that we can test the key. So let's have a look. Okay, we take the key, put it inside the cylinder and as you can see, the key turn it very, very smooth and check the other side, same thing, very, very smooth. Okay. So basically, that's how you cut a, 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 a laser, a, a high security a double sided key. And this example was for 2004 a Honda Accord. Okay. And something very important to mention the fact that I'm using the floor cylinder uh, is just because on the floor cylinder there is the key, the, the code, or in the door cylinder, depending on which uh, car you do. For example, in the uh, Toyota, it was in the door. But because we have the key code, this key will work, of course, on the ignition and in all of the uh, locks of the car, all of the cylinders. So uh, because we don't have the car here, we cannot check it, but this will work also on the ignition, okay? So we're gonna put it on the side. Few things that is important for me to mention. The machine, this was just three examples for three different type of keys uh, that we have. We have a key that have no a shoulder, we have a key with a shoulder, and we have a key that had a high security uh, type of, of a, a cut. Every car will have a different way to put the key, to position the key. So have a look always at this illustration. Always the, uh, the first thing you want to pay attention is the clamp. What clamp you need to use? The M1 or the M2? The clamp. 
Second of all, what you want to pay attention is where the yellow arrow. This yellow arrow will tell you where to stop the, uh, uh, the key. Where to stop the key using the stopper. Okay, so make sure to pay attention to this. By the way, if you put the key in the wrong way, the machine will not gonna let you continue. If you put the key by mistake, you use the wrong, uh, you stop it at the wrong place, the machine will not gonna let you continue, okay? But pay attention to the clamp and also where you need to stop uh, the key using this yellow arrow. Do you want to know how to program car keys and remotes for all type of vehicles and easily? Well, if you do, then I have the perfect solution for you. Hi, my name is Moshe and I'm an owner of a locksmith company for over 10 years. I'm an expert when it comes to program car keys and remotes. I created a website full of videos and tutorials that will show you step by step how to program all type of car keys and remotes. From transponder keys to remote head keys to smart keys for vehicles that have a push to start system. By using this website, you will be able to program car keys and remotes easily and you will be able to be successful on your first try. All you will have to do is follow a few simple steps. Go to the search bar and type the make, here and model of the car that you would like to program the key for and press enter. Then choose the correct video from the suggested videos. Make sure that the vehicle make, here and model appear in the description list below the video. And follow the video step by step. It's that easy. And if you would like to order the key that is being explained in the video, that's not a problem. Just press on the link at the bottom of the description and you can order the exact same key that is being explained in the video. It's that easy. To find out more, go to www.laxmithvideosonline.com.